everybody, it's Red Panda Gamer here for another interesting episode of Let's Play Animal Crossing City Folk for a year! Today is day 351, 14 days left, two weeks exactly of the series. And I gotta tell you guys, the end is coming. The end is nigh, but we will enjoy this time while we can. And actually, this is gonna be a pretty short episode. Which I feel like I'm okay with doing because most of the episodes lately have, in my opinion, like the last three or four have been really good. Um, almost as good as my like original episodes. But right now in Sexual, it's 918 p.m. on August 10th, 2012. I'm running pretty late tonight because tonight is one of my first big nights of moving all my stuff. I've boxed up all 250 of my DVDs that I own and all, shit, I don't know probably 180 190 video games I own so I've been really busy today considering the fact that I worked from 11 to 7 30 I've been super busy and I close tomorrow night so 2 30 to 11 I needed to get as much done as possible so I've been up pretty much all night Lauren actually came home with me tonight we made a nice dinner and then uh, we made a lot of packing we did a lot of packing most of the movies we did together, then we did the games, and then we've kind of just been moving stuff. Uh, the biggest thing to go so far is my iMac. Since I have a MacBook Pro that I can do all my recording stuff on, I decided, you know what, let's just get the iMac and the desk that I use out of here just to make more space for all my stuff that I'm stacking everywhere. And, uh, yeah, I packed it up. Still had the old iMac box from when I bought it. So it was really no big deal packing. I packed away all my old systems, so my NES, my Genesis, my Retron 3, which is the NES Genesis Super Nintendo. I packed away my Super Nintendo, my PlayStation 2, pretty much everything except for my Xbox and my Wii, since I'm, I honestly, and I considered even packing up my Xbox because I don't really think I'm gonna be using it at all before I leave, but I figured I might as well just leave it out in case I wanna play some, uh, my indie games, since I have a couple of reviews I'm working on still for indie games. And actually, the thing that sucks is when you have a review copy of a game, and you're really jazzed about it, and it turns out to not be such a good game, and you kind of feel morally obligated to do a review since someone gave you a review copy, but at that very same time, that person giving you the review copy is the person that made the game. So you're kind of like, I don't really know if I want to review it, because I don't want to insult them, but they gave me a free copy of their game for a review, so I kind of feel even more obligated you know it's kind of complicated but I've gotten three review codes in the last three weeks so I've been really busy with reviews and I'm hoping to finish them by next week I I've just been so busy it's just ridiculous Raptor skull dude that's like the fourth Raptor skull god were there a lot of Velociraptors running around here it'd be so cool if when you finish the uh, museum if you got a time machine you can go back and see the town like populated by dinosaurs and it doesn't even have to necessarily be like interactive just like kind of a coast over of the map I guess if you were in a flying time machine like the one in Chrono Trigger and you could just see everything I just think that'd be so cool but whatever that's just my opinion of things that would be cool in this game <laughs> that'd be wild if you could see like dinosaurs living here the other thing that made my day suck other than all the freaking packing I've had to do is my eyeball my left eyeball, I wear contacts and I can sleep with them in, but after like so many days of sleeping with them in, they just randomly decide, hey, we're going to start being in tons of throbbing pain, and the minute you take your contact out, it's going to be ten times worse. And so I took it out because you kind of have to, and I'm in a lot of pain now. <laughs> so my eye's been hurting all day, my nose has been runny. What? Oh, that's right, I took it all out when I uh, got the fountain. Town fund! Let's see. Give him 50k. Actually, you know what? Let's give him 80k. I really don't buy much anymore, so I don't really see much of a reason of saving money. Uh, but yeah, my eye is in a lot of pain. I, I'm only playing with one eye right now, and my glasses are off because the glasses intensify the pain. I'm a mess right now, okay? And I have tons of work to do before I move in on Wednesday. I called Nipsco, which is basically uh, Indiana's uh, gas and electric company. Uh, the people you pay for gas and electric. Every state has their own, I'm pretty sure. And I was figuring out how much it would cost me, and that was fun. But then I found out stuff about how someone has to be th at the apartment when they come in to fix, to turn on the lights. 
but I don't live there until they turn on the lights, so I'm relying on my landlord to show up when he shows up. It's just a very messed up, stressful situation, and I don't want to... And if, and if he shows up and she's not there, I have to pay a $45 fine. Which I think is messed up. I'm pretty sure the landlord should be in charge of all this stuff. I mean, I agree that I should pay my utilities, but I think they should focus on getting them turned back on. Because it's just such a pain to go through both of them. But whatever, I'm just complaining. And most of the stuff you guys won't have to worry about for a while. But I have to worry about it right now, and I have no one else to talk to about it, because it's, you know, 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I figured it out last you even with... Oh, you're dying! Oh, well, you'll be fine. I don't really have... I can't I can't get medicine, because Tom Nook's store is closed. Oh, well, Harry, I guess you're just going to die. Sorry, buddy. But, yeah, I, I really can't pack anymore, because I need to just give, give it a rest. I need to lay down. I need to go to bed. Get up tomorrow, hopefully early, and just keep packing. Actually, I can't even sleep in my room because I have so much stuff stacked on my bed. I'm just sleeping on the couch tonight because I don't even want to deal with it. And luckily, I'm home alone this entire week. Ooh, I like this wizard hat. I'm home alone all week, so I have the house to myself completely. So I just kind of have been stacking everything everywhere. Like, there's boxes everywhere downstairs. All my clothes were on the kitchen table, you know, to be boxed up. It's just a mess. And then Lauren and I cooked dinner, but I was too busy packing, so we just kind of left everything out, and I still haven't finished cleaning it. Dishwasher's full and clean, and I still haven't emptied it yet. I have tons of work to do, and I really don't care, because I'm not going to be living here anymore. But I can't, like, my, my family's out of town, so I can't just let them come back and have the house be a mess. But it's not like I live here anymore, so what are they going to do, ground me? No, they're not, because I don't live here anymore. <sighs> stressful issues, but it's going to be so worth it when I move in. And actually, I was writing a script today for a video I want to do on how to Let's Play. I have, it's going to be like an eight-part video. Like, we're going to go from deciding whether Let's Playing is right for you to choosing like what name you should have for your channel what like how you should send messages to other youtubers like professional like how to be more courteous to fellow youtubers like don't just send spam messages to 80 people just really good advice on how to let's play and how to know like it's right for you if you are a let's player and you're relatively popular what's the next step you know partnership and then like a um a q a for the last episode where, you know, I posted an episode saying, hey, ask me all your questions for the finale of How to Let's Play. And then there's a video of me answering all your questions. So, I don't know what you guys would think of that. How would you guys feel on How to Let's Play? I know the problem with doing a video like that is, well, who do you think you are to, you know, tell us how to let's play? But, I don't know. I, I can give basic advice. I mean, I'm really good at giving advice. And even though my channel still only has, like, what, 13k subscribers... I think I still have a pretty good position on how to give advice because I've seen really good Let's Players strive and I've also seen really bad Let's Players <laughs> and I think I have a pretty decent uh, view of both spectrums. So guys, go ahead and comment below what you would think of how to Let's Play, uh, video series on how to Let's Play, and let me know down below specific things you might want to see. Just kind of keep in, so I can keep in mind and be like, oh, I totally forgot about that. I forgot to mention something about that. But for now, guys, I have a lot of work to still do, and I need to get some sleep. So please like this video, favorite this video, comment this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Do you ever get to share your love? I'm Red Panda Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.